Okay, hello everybody, this is Con and you're looking at the new BMW 5 Series 530e Sport plug-in hybrid. Okay, so currently the G35 Series is available in Malaysia. Uh, previously they launched the 530i Petrol. Now this is the new 530e plug-in hybrid. The 530e plug-in hybrid priced at about 340,000 ringgit, 40,000 down from the 530i. So you gain a more advanced powertrain, but at the same time, you lose some features. Okay, so let's look at let's look up close now. For starters, the 530e is uh, does not have the M Sport body like the 530i. Okay, and it also comes with these standard LED headlamps. Okay, uh, whereas the 530i has adaptive LEDs. Okay, so here's the kidney grill, and here is the what we call it the regular spec bumper of the 530e okay now let's move to the side okay this is the 19 inch multi-spoke alloys okay of the 530e and coming to the side here you see this i badger that denotes that this is a plug-in hybrid model the uh, plug-in hybrid charging port is on the other side of the vehicle at the front fender at front left fender so as you move to the side Okay, another distinguishing mark that this is the 530E is this E-Drive badge here right at the Hofmeister kink and coming here of course that's the 530E badge and you will notice that here the bumper the uh, exhaust ports okay two round exhaust ports on either side of the bumper uh, back with the F10 this exhaust configuration would have denoted a six cylinder model but now BMW has made this uh, either side config uh, exhaust configuration standard uh, on all variants of the 5 series okay so let's uh, take a look at the boot space now this is the boot of the 530e now because of the hybrid battery the boot floor is slightly raised but under here there's a bit of a hidden compartment and this uh, this 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 part of the boot floor can sink down but the battery hybrid battery is hidden inside here and uh, here there is a hidden compartment right here okay and here so you can you can solid your 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 things here okay if you have a big item that you need a flat loading floor you can just raise this floor part of the floor okay and uh, there's powered closing of the boot hey mr fernandez okay so like other uh, plug-in hybrid models of bm of bmw the 530e is powered by a two liter inline four engine okay turbocharged uh on its own the engine generates 184 horsepower but working together with the electric motor it the net system output is about 252 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque okay so same horsepower as the 530i combined but more torque but then again bear in mind uh, um the the 530i still justifies its position Okay, as the higher model in the 5 series hierarchy in Malaysia because the 530i performs offers 252 horsepower full time okay whereas the 530e gives you 252 horsepower when it has a fully charged battery so when the battery depletes you are left with about 184 horsepower still not shabby but you know it is a reduction okay so claim performance figures 230 Five kilometers per hour top speed 6.2 seconds to uh, 100 kilometers from rest so in all electric mode uh, the 530e can travel as far as 48 kilometers uh, rated in the new European driving cycle okay uh, of course you can also squeeze it up to the top speed of 140 kilometers per hour but don't expect both these uh, to be achieved simultaneously lah, huh? not possible okay uh, yeah so combine uh, the rated fuel consumption is two liters per 100 kilometers okay but the thing about plug-in hybrid is that your actual fuel consumption may actually be very much higher or very much lower than claim figures it entirely depends on your pattern of usage so let's look at the cabin okay inside here this this is the cabin of the 530e let's get inside okay so one thing missing from the 530e compared to the 530i okay another is the Harman Kardon speakers from the 530i is no longer available okay and here is the uh, adaptive uh, instrument cluster okay. and uh, the input the iDrive 
system is uh, pretty much standard from the 530i but this time the gesture control that was offered in the 7 series and as well as the 530i is no longer available okay which to me is uh well some of the technophiles may not like it but to me it's it is an acceptable omission to keep the price down center tunnel this is pretty standard stuff from bmw okay so you notice that this e drive button here denotes that this is the 530e okay and here is the start stop button you notice that unlike the 530i there is no deactivation button for the auto start stop feature for the 530e okay now one thing about the 530e that i have been informed is that unlike the 530i okay another missing equipment from this car is the bmw display key so the 530e comes with a standard key fob it's still keyless entry so if you ask me that is uh Okay, that's another down specking but an acceptable reduction in spec because what you really want only is the you know the the added the, the convenience of keyless entry when you have the display key it is nice to have but don't forget uh, that display key right you have to recharge one you know at, at, after you know every day so come here here at the back uh, I've got this much headroom and this much leg room okay so this this seats very comfortable um yeah so there isn't much compromise in terms of interior room so this uh, pretty much the same story here lah, as in the as the in the regular five series nothing new from the inside okay so this is a this is this briefly is the new bmw 530e plug-in hybrid so until our next video thanks for watching bye for now